Hello, everyone. Thanks for tuning in once again to the original Queen Amadai Shakur show. I'm your host, Queen Amadai Shakur. Okay, so let's get into it because you know what? All of these old clips of Diddy's keep coming back up, resurfacing, and most of them have not aged well. As a matter of fact, I don't think any of them that I've seen, at least, have aged well. Okay, so now recently, just days ago, uh, the video of him inviting 12-year-old Davy Chase to an MTV after party recent, re recently resurfaced. Now, if you don't know who Davy Chase is, that's the little girl that played in um, the movie The Ring. Remember that movie? And this is real crazy because... Now that we've heard about the 13-year-old story, the lawsuit about that 13-year-old and how the limo supposedly told the little girl that, oh, Diddy likes him young and you're what he's looking for. Okay, now this just all seems even more nefarious and sick. Okay, so a resurfaced video of Sean Diddy Combs inviting a child actress to a party has gone viral amid allegations that the embattled music mogul has committed sexual misconduct against minors. Okay, so now, I mean, we just can't even look at this, you know, we just absolutely can't look at it the same. And so anyway, the clip shows the I Need a Girl rapper, who was 33 at the time, asking Davy Chase, who was then 12, backstage at the 2003 MTV Movie Awards, you coming to the after party tonight, as he walks up to her while holding a drink near his mouth. Now, the young girl then nods yes, prompting Diddy, who was known at the time to throw wild and lavish Hollywood parties, to laugh in a mischievous manner and say, yeah. The pair had seemingly met earlier in the night when the Bad Boy Records founder and Ashton Kutcher presented Chase with a Best Villain Award for her role as Samara in the hit horror flick called The Ring. All so nefarious. Okay, so when Chase went up to accept her award during the live show, Kutcher, who once hinted at knowing secrets about party, party loving uh, Diddy, leaned in to tell the preteen that she was doing so good and gently patted her arms. The last night's supper, like, I, I just want y'all to think about this because even, even as we think about this, right, I mean, well, of course, in hindsight, we know that it was, you know, not funny at all. But even still, this grown man going up to a 12-year-old, inviting her to a party, like, who's having kids her age at an after party? Not just a regular, but the after party. Okay, nobody paid attention to that back then. I find it all very interesting, uh, but let me continue. And don't forget to hit that like button, please. Thank you in advance. So anyway, Ashton Kutcher, who once hinted at knowing secrets, didn't mean to keep that playing. But anyway, who once hinted about knowing secrets about Diddy, leaned in to tell the preaching that she was doing so good and gently patted her arms. Okay, the last night rapper then told her at the podium, take your time. Now that's the 70s show alum. That 70s show alum, then 25, was also backstage when Diddy extended the party invitation, as it appears to have taken place right after the, the award exchange. Uh, but he just laughed off his co-presenter's remarks. Diddy did all this publicly. Imagine what happened behind closed doors. This is what somebody wrote on X, and they said, I hope they lock him up for life. Another social media user added, Damn, it's blatant when you have hindsight. Poor kids didn't have a chance. His glee is repulsive. Well, I have to agree. It absolutely is as far as I'm concerned. Okay, Diddy is a whole mess. And here's a clip from that night. Coming to the after party tomorrow? <laughs> yeah! Coming to the after party tomorrow? <laughs> yeah! Now, mind you, a spokesperson for Diddy tells Page Six that it's disappointing to see the media and social media commentators twist moments into something they were not. How do we know they were not? I mean, just think about it. At the end of the day, when we're sitting up here reading lawsuits about 13-year-olds, you know, being dropped off at parties that he's hosting and getting great, okay, and, and giving illegal substances, mind you, okay, Having to run through a crowd of people unclothed to the nearest gas station in distress to get help and then have to call their father and all of that. I mean, and then the other horrific stories. And then we hear from Tony Busby that supposedly, allegedly, even there was a nine-year-old boy 
Okay. And, and mind you, this is all alleged. Diddy maintains his innocence. But the bottom line is this. How can anyone think that he had just, you know, innocent intentions after hearing all of this stuff? How can anyone think that, oh, it's no big deal. He was just joking around. Why are y'all trying to twist it into something it's not? Well, was it something that it's not? Or was it exactly what it seems like now in hindsight when we know the truth of who Diddy really is? Okay, please pay attention. These people always make excuses for him. All right. And these aren't his attorneys. These are his spokes, uh, spokesperson, which I'm sure that's their job. But in this case, they should have just kept their mouth shut. They shouldn't even have tried to justify it. And please, by all means, don't try to blame it on social media commentators. Okay. We're just going by what's been presented thus far is all I'm saying. And see this right here now. So I think about it. Yeah. This type of stuff is why his attorneys want that gag order issued so they can just shut everybody up, silence everybody, so nobody said anything about Diddy. Uh, but Diddy should have thought about all of the chickens coming home to roost while he was out there living his best life and ruining everybody else's at the same time and doing all the nefariousness that he chose to engage in alleged. Okay, and mind you, some of this stuff isn't alleged. We know some of the things are true because there's paperwork on it. Okay, all the attacks on his son's coach, Steve Stout, okay, Shakur, Stu Shakur Stewart, threatening the man's life, cars blown up, people dangled from balconies like he's big red and the five heartbeats. Okay, he has a whole nefarious history at the end of the day. Uh, so anyway, I digress. Now, the coming home rapper, now 54, has been down the road before amid his recent legal issues as several clips of him with a young Justin Bieber have also resurfaced online, sparking new questions and concerns. Honey, people should have been concerned a whole long time ago. I don't understand why people would allow their kids to go and stay with grown people. And I'm not just talking about Diddy, but even in the case of R. Kelly, these people were allowing their minor children to go stay with people that partied, that were all up in the industry, what did they think they were going to be witnessing and seeing? And did they even stop to think about what could potentially happen to them? Because keep in mind, there was already whispers of stuff going on in Hollyweird, okay? Maybe not the music industry back then with young people, but there was already stories about things that were going on with child stars in Hollyweird, okay? I remember I seen an old interview of Drew Barrymore, and I believe she said she started drinking liquor when she was like 11 or 13 years old. Now, why do you think she was drinking at that age? Who was giving her liquor? And I literally saw myself with my own two eyes, okay, uh, Bow Wow drinking when he was like 13 years old. And I'm like, wait a minute, why is that boy in here? Huh. Okay, so I'm sorry. People already knew some, some things were going on that were actually inappropriate uh, for these young people. And so I don't know why the spokesperson's trying to sit here and act like we're just twisting things and painting narratives because sorry, not sorry, but the narratives have already been pushed as far as I'm concerned. Okay. And pushed by Diddy himself at the end of the day. So we're supposed to all just sit here and feel sorry about it. Anyway, with that all being said, you know, and now as you, as we look back and think about how Ashton Kutcher right there with Diddy at the same time this is all said and he joked about it like it was funny too i wonder who that other person was in that room okay after the vmas award when they had that little 13 year old i'm just waiting for those names to drop i'm i'm just waiting for that but anyway uh goes on to say Page Six also reached out to a rep for Kutcher, but did not immediately hear back. Chase, now 34 years old, did not return our request for comment either, nor has she commented on the matter online. However, the, the Donnie Darko star has been keeping a low profile on social media in recent years. She shared her last post on Instagram in 2017. That same year, Chase got into some trouble with the law when she was arrested for riding a stolen car. Okay, the following year, the Lilo and Stitch voice actress was charged with illegal substance possession. You see, this is the thing. That further makes me think that this child had some things happen to her, you know, not making excuses for her behavior. But at the end of the day, a lot of these young people who are in the music and entertainment industry, they fall off later in life, start using um, illegal substances. They get into trouble with the law and all of that, I believe, is due to their trauma. OK, that's what I think a lot of it has to do with. I think it has to do with the trauma that they experienced from things that happened to them by way of some of these nefarious adults. OK, so please pay attention. This is all just so sad. 
Yeah, he was laughing and joking at the same time. But what he said about coming to that after party, I think he was absolutely serious. Okay, I think that was a legit invitation. And that's just my opinion. This picture even takes on a whole new meaning now that we know what we know. Or shall I say now that these allegations have come out, because I can't say what we actually know until the trial starts. So anyway, with that all being said, drop me a comment to let me know what you think about all this. Okay, and there's going to be more stuff coming up on Diddy. All right, and so stay tuned. Till next time, beloveds. Peace.